I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us here on CIG TV. The Earl and Countess of Wessex arrived in Grand Cayman on Sunday to a warm Caymanian welcome as dignitaries greeted them. Her Excellency Governor Helen Kilpatrick, Premier the Honorable Alvin McLaughlin were the first to do so on Sunday. As the Countess was presented with flowers, the Earl received the royal salute from the Police Guard of Honor. Now, moments after their arrival, they were met by government ministers and members of the Legislative Assembly. A short while after arriving in Grand Cayman, the Earl and, West and Countess boarded a Cayman Express flight to Little Cayman, where they were greeted by Deputy <laughs> Premier, the Honorable Moses Colonel, Minister of Environment, the Honorable Wayne Panton, and Dr. Carrie Manfrino, President of the Central Caribbean Marine Institute, as well as Chris Humphreys, Chairman of CCMI on the smallest of the three Cayman Islands. Now, the Earl is a patron of CCMI and has been since he visited the Cayman Islands back in uh, 2003. The royal couple were back in Grand Cayman on Monday, where they attended separate luncheons and other events. The royal couple departed the Cayman Islands on Monday evening. Join us here on CIG TV News Update Tuesday for a full look at the visit. The Earl of Wessex is the fourth child and youngest son of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. He's been married to Sophie, Countess of Wessex, since 1999. In other news, as part of honoring Women's Month, an international day of prayer was held at a local Seventh-day Adventist church on Sunday. This month, the Cayman Islands and many places around the world are celebrating and honoring their women. During the month, various organizations, including the Family Resource Center, who organized the service at the King's Seventh-day Adventist Church on Sunday, will hold various types of events focusing on women's issues. Women from various levels in their communities are recognized for their contributions and issues that are affecting women in different ways are discussed. Attending the church service were Minister Oswald Bodden and Premier the Honorable Alda McLaughlin. If you would like more details on what's happening during Honoring Women's Month this month, this March rather, call the Family Resource Center on 949-0006. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. I'm Donna Bush. Wishing you a wonderful night. Thank you for watching, and I invite you to join me here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.